We visited Delhi's Comet Convention in December, where the NSIC grounds were bursting with Game of Thrones impersonators, Spider-Man costumes, arcade games, and cheeky t-shirts. There, we met Malik Sajab, who was launching his new graphic novel named Munnu. It's the story of a young boy who grows up in Kashmir, amidst great hardship. Seven-year-old Munnu is naive about politics and uh, what is happening around him, though he has become familiar with the war because that is the situation he was born into. And, uh, but he doesn't understand the politics, so it's kind of... Um, so then he grows and uh, comes to know more about uh, the world around him. Munnu is a typical kid. He goes to school and he loves his favorite foods. He's mischievous sometimes. He has crushes on girls. The focus is not only on the war, focus is also on the irrelevant details that we relate to each other, like uh, love of parents, uh, romance, humor, uh, bunking classes, and uh, all those experiences are uh, universal. Malik Sajad says he was inspired by German woodcutting when he was illustrating Munnu. But why is it that some of the characters are depicted as deer? Kashmiri characters in this book are depicted as uh, deer. People who are not from Kashmir, like the army and the tourists, so I try to draw them as a real, uh, like, human. In 2005 or 6, I drew, there was a news story uh, how this uh, deer is endangered in Kashmir. The news was, it got a big space on the front page, while as uh, some people had died on the same day, it was uh, moved to the brief section of the front page. So I made a cartoon, placed a Kashmiri and a deer next to each other with a tagline, Endangered Species. This narrative opportunity is just some of the strengths of the graphic novel. Where you might find a lengthy description of a bustling street, here, you see it. In a violent scene, which can be wordless, the action still crackles off the page in a graphic novel. And, of course, it reflects the way that Malik thinks. Not just the graphic novel, um, it's like uh, all the artwork that comes out of a place, uh, whether it is a conflict zone or not, it's like a, it's a way of communicating with the world, it's a way of communicating with the people. And um, so that's what uh, every form of storytelling does. I tried to describe the environment in just one sentence, uh, which is not just a one sentence. It is me uh, trying to borrow your memory of such kind of event. Reader's interpretation of it completes it. So the description of uh, the places, the people might be incomplete, but uh, yeah, your imagination kind of fills it up.